What's up guys, it's Deltlead, and today we're playing Space Flight Simulator once again. This time I'm actually setting out with a real mission in mind. I'm going to build my first space station in SFS. You know, I've never really played this game a whole lot as I covered in my last video, and so I actually wanted to kind of learn the game and, you know, be able to play it well. Uh, if I'm going to be making videos about something, I actually want to know the game well and be able to do it well. So we're launching a space station. This first rocket is carrying up the hub module. It's basically just a fuel tank with a bunch of docking ports attached in all the different sides. We're going to slap other modules on it. Uh, pretty simple mission. We're going to fly up to a circular altitude, or a circular orbit of 50 kilometers. Uh, 50 kilometers is 20 kilometers past the Kármán line, which is the edge of the atmosphere in SFS for Earth. So we're going to fly out to our target orbit and set up a space station there. All right, we are coming up on the edge of the atmosphere now, coming up 26, 27 kilometers to Apoapsis. 28, 29. All right, there we go. So our apoapsis is finally outside of the atmosphere, and we are going to start leveling off our trajectory and circularizing our orbit, getting around um, and actually putting some speed into our orbital velocity, putting us in a stable orbit. We'll go ahead and separate our fairings to reduce our weight. Uh, we want to do everything we can to reduce the weight of our craft to increase the delta V of our craft. So releasing fairings as soon as we get out of the atmosphere, discarding spent fuel tanks, everything we can do to make our rocket as efficient as possible. And with that, we are at the apoapsis of our orbit at 50.2 kilometers. I'm going to go ahead and set my velocity vector, and we're going to burn to circularize. So we are at 49.8 and 50.9. All right, in this next section, we're going to be launching the first solar array. Um, now, we've timed the launch so that the space station hub module will be just behind us. We're going to launch up and then meet, uh, intercept our hub module, and then dock with it and deploy the solar array, and then we'll do the same on the opposite side of the hub module. So we'll have two solar arrays, and that'll complete our space station for now. Now, we're going to be doing some more later. I think in a future episode, I'm going to be putting some fuel tanks on there and maybe launching a craft up to the space station that will dock with it, refuel, and then maybe travel on farther, maybe to the moon, maybe to Mars, I don't know yet. Uh, we're going to be waiting to figure out really what I want to do later. But for now, we're going to get out of the atmosphere, drop our first stage, and start bringing our orbit up to the target orbit. We are at 40 kilometers apoapsis, and yeah, right now we're just going to accelerate and try to match our orbits. Now, the way you do a orbital rendezvous, first thing you have to do is get into orbit. So you have to get out of the atmosphere, obviously. Uh, and then what you're going to want to do is match one point in your orbit with the target orbit, and then take the other side of your orbit and either undershoot or overshoot the orbit of your target orbit to either slow down or speed up. So in this case, I want to overshoot my orbit, which puts me on a longer orbital path. And because I'm on a longer orbital path to my target, the target is actually going to catch up with me, and then I will slow down. It's a little backwards. Orbital rendezvous is a little backwards from kind of how we conventionally think of travel. I want to slow down so that I can speed up and catch back up with my target because I'm shortening the orbital path. I'm traveling a shorter distance around the Earth here. All right, so we are getting close enough for a rendezvous proper. And I think, yep, we can just now see the space station hub. We're going to go ahead and begin our final approach. I'm not going to try to do any fancy uh, orbital rendezvous final corrections. I'm just going to burn towards it. We'll kill our velocity and start getting closer. All right, I'm going to release the second stage and just use the tug module. And uh, we're going to start approaching the space station. Now I'm going to line up with the docking port there. And uh, now that I'm in line with the docking port, we're going to go ahead and start moving towards the docking port and come up on our final approach here. Just a few more final adjustments. You can see I'm fiddling with the RCS controls, trying to line it up, line it up. Here we go, looking good. Oh, one more final adjustment, and we are docked. So I'll separate the tug module and deploy our first solar array. Now, we don't want to be littering space, so I'm going to select the tug module that I just disconnected. We're going to go ahead and time warp so we get some separation there. Select the tug module, and we are going to deorbit this thing. We don't want to be cluttering up the space around the planet. 
Uh, you know, we don't want to see any nasty stuff there, so we are deorbiting our tug. It is going to drop back out, down into the atmosphere. We're just using the RCS thrusters on the tug to deorbit it. Nothing fancy here. And it is on a collision course with the Earth. We will let the citizens of Earth decide what they want to do with the litter there. Second array is coming up now. We are doing pretty much the exact same mission. Nothing different here. Uh, second array is coming up on the second docking module now. Lining up our docking ports and coming in for the final approach. Whoop, 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 whoop. And there we go. Finally. All right. Coming in, coming in, coming in. Boom. Docked in low Earth orbit. We'll start by deploying our solar panels and separate the tug once again. All right, well, that'll do it for this episode. We have built our space station. If you want to see more um, space flight simulator videos, please let me know. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see all of you in the next episode. Bye-bye.